On Pop Price Guide, this is listed for about $3,500. So this pop right now is listed on Pop Price Guide for $6,000. $500, which is an insane amount. What's going on, Funk Collector fam? Kev here. Today, we are going to be reviewing a couple of the most expensive Funko Pops in existence. You're not going to want to miss it. So let's get right into it. That's right, guys. So we are looking at two of the most expensive Disney Funko Pops in existence today. And the first pop that we're looking at is the Gold Dumbo from San Diego Comic-Con 20. So this pop was released at San Diego Comic-Con, but it was not sold in the booth. I believe these were released at the Fun Days event. There actually was a blue metallic Dumbo as well that was released in 2013, and that pop was limited to 480 pieces. So I'm pretty sure they sold that pop in the booth during the convention. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide this pop very, very carefully outside of the stack being careful not to damage the box. Here's a good look at the pop. So here we can see the gold finish on the Dumbo and you can see there's some of the gold paint on the ear there. So in the early days of Funko, the quality control of the paint was not the best. It was okay, but you can, yeah, you can see that some of the older pops have some paint flaws on them which is not a big deal. I think they still have them today, but I think they got a little bit better. But that's a really, really cool pop and really unique with that gold finish for the Dumbo, one of the coolest pops you can find out there. And here's a look at some of the other Disney pops they released in 2013 as well. Um, a lot of these are pretty expensive now, even for the um, quote unquote common versions. And there you can see that um, that San Diego Comic-Con 2013 limited to 48 pieces. That's not a sticker that you see very often, but it is, um, yeah, it makes this piece extremely rare. On Prop Price Guide, this is listed for about $3,500. And here you can see the date sticker for the release, which was summer. You can see the month there, six, and the year of 2013. All right, so we're also gonna be looking at another 48 piece pop that was released at the same convention. It's also a Disney pop and is also a Dumbo pop. We are looking at the limited 48 piece clown Dumbo. So this pop here is one of the most unique Disney pops ever made. You can see um, again with the limited edition 48 piece from the convention. And the, the paint on this one looks super, super nice. You see the Dumbo there with the, he has a clown face paint. So here again, you can see that limited 48 pieces. And similar to the gold Dumbo, this was released at Fun Days for their after event party. Here we see the same um, Disney pieces that were released during the same time. And that's just a really cool artwork. You can see he has the clown hat on top with the clown paint on his nose and the paint on his face with the um, red cheek dots that are, I really like too. It's a very cool pop overall. So this pop right now is listed on Pop Price Guide for $6,500, which is an insane amount compared to what these were going for back in 2013. At the convention, I imagine the metallic Dumbo, um, the blue metallic Dumbo selling for maybe $30, 25 to $30, and these were given out at fun days, so I think the ticket was probably $50 to $100 back then. So compared to however much it cost anyone to get those back then, these have considerably increased in value over the past seven to eight years. In terms of any flaws on this one, the black around the eyeball is not as clean as we saw on the gold Dumbo. And you see a little bit on, of red on the nose, which bled over to where it was supposed to be. But again, overall for an eight year pop, this looks really, really good. And um, the box condition on this one is a little bit worse than the gold one. There's a little bit of a tear in the corner here and a little bit of a bump in the corner there. Let's see, anything else here? Um, yeah, but I think for these old pieces, the condition of the box, I mean, 
collectors don't want destroyed boxes, but they understand that there's a little bit of little bit of wear because of just how old the pieces are. So a condition like this looks really, really nice for a pop that this is this old and this rare. So this is really cool to see in person and I'm hoping everyone is able to enjoy this um, view of such an expensive pop. And recently they came out with a clown Dumbo keychain, I believe, just to give some fans the ability to snag a clown Dumbo in their collection of some sort but Funko has not released this Dumbo in the Funko Pop form again. Alright it's time for our random comment highlight time where I highlight a couple of comments from my previous video which was my Shining Fates ETB unboxing video. Christopher S writes held me in suspense the whole time won't spoil anything but I wish I got that amazing rare. Yes we did get that amazing rare Reshiram and it was a pretty awesome card and the box opening was pretty exciting. We didn't quite hit that shiny Zard but it's still a really really exciting unboxing. And Darren Lee comments, first comment, I've been waiting for you boys to unwrap these shining fates since release day. I haven't been able to watch the video yet, by now it's gonna be fire! And you know what Darren Lee, you are not wrong. That video was complete fire! So please give it a click. Give it a watch if you have not yet, and thank you all for watching this video. So I hope you all enjoyed this review of these two super, super expensive pops, the Clown Dumbo and the Gold Dumbo. Shout out to my friend Gabe for letting me borrow these for the purposes of this video, but I hope you guys all enjoyed the chance to see these up close and were able to appreciate just how unique and awesome both of these pieces from 2013 San Diego Comic Con are. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in my next video.